Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave here again with episode 1 of Ellie vs. Everything. I want to start off by showing you guys my stats, things I had to grind for to start the series. Um, 81 Herblore and all this, all this stuff that I was talking about in the last one that I didn't really show you guys. Also, obviously, got the Slayer up to 87 for those Cave Krakens. So, um, so you guys might want to know that. And I actually have a bit of an agenda for this first episode. I actually thought about this ahead of time with discussed with some people and thought this was a good idea. Maybe you guys will disagree with me. Maybe this is something that will piss you off. But you know what? I did say I have to get my Void back. And I don't have any money right now, so let's kill two birds with one stone. We're going to go punch some void boats until we have about 30,000 GP. So I'm just going to tell you that right now and explain to you guys why I'm doing this. Obviously, like I said, I am going to get placeholders of my void set. And right now, all I have is an Elijah and Spirit Shield to use. And, you know, that's obviously a lot to use. But I'm not going to go do any stupid grinds right at the beginning because, hey, we need some money and we need it fast. And what better way to do that than void boats? All I have to do is get 50 damage. It's not too hard to do if I can just, you know, piety it up and just kick some shit. I'll probably be fine. And unfortunately, I probably don't have too much time to do this right now because it is 5.53 in the morning right now. And I have school. I have to leave for school in about 30 minutes. Fuck, that is a bank pin. So I'm going to get my Ellie out. And I am going to go and do this. And I will start recording when I do so. Okay, guys. So it looks like no one's really in the main boat right now. So, um... We're actually having to do this on the medium boat, and it's because, like I said, it's about 6 in the morning. I just want to get one game in so you guys can see what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to update you guys after every game, but I'll show you guys when I have the 30,000 coins after I play this first game. So here we go. We're literally going to piety and hit things. There we go. We're kicking a 4. So all I have to do is get 50 damage. It actually doesn't look like it'll be that difficult at this rate. I already have 14 damage. So yeah, I'll definitely be able to get 50. I'll have to try hard a little bit, but you know what? That's not that bad. We're literally kicking things with an Ellie. Everyone's looking at me and probably saying some mean shit, so I had to turn my public off because I don't want to cry myself, you know, on my on my long walk to school. I don't want to have to cry the whole way there. So, kicking things. I'm pretty sure we're already at 50 damage. Now we're at 44. So that's actually really cool. This theoretically should be really easy to do then. I actually thought it would take a lot longer than this to do. I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's actually really easy to do damage. So all you people who are struggling getting 50 damage in best control, you're doing it wrong because I'm literally kicking things and getting it. So I don't know. That's kind of cool. Holy fuck, that guy just one bang. We're going to kick this portal because we have swag. Here we go, kicking it. All right, so I'm kind of recording this just to show you guys the initial process of what I'm going to do for this series. Um, pest control, obviously, is not the most optimal way to make money. But after this, um, I'm going to actually end up buying some runes. And what I'm going to do with those runes is I'm going to go to the crazy archaeologist. And the reason I'm doing that is because he can drop rune crossbows. Now, obviously, I could go to, you know, iron and steel dragons and things like that. However, a crazy archaeologist has some other useful drops that I think might actually work for me. And I don't know if anyone really PKs there. They might. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out when I go after school today. And hopefully I don't lose that 30k that I started with. But like I said, this isn't too difficult to do. And since I'm 124 combat, every win I get is 1,240 GP. It's pretty nice. Um, so that's, you know, 25 games, whatever, to get my 30k. And I'm going to buy, you know, like I said, some cast runes and f some fire runes and an air staff. And, you know, I'm going to need that air staff for the future anyway. It's 900 coins. It shouldn't be too hard for me to do. And with all, actually, I should probably buy a staff first. I can just run on staff bashing things in here. But I don't have rock teleports either. So that'll be a, a nice, fun walk. Um, I also have lecterns in my house, so I can make my own house tabs, my own bones to peaches. But I'm not really concerned with that yet. So I'm just letting you guys know what's up. This is how I'm going to start doing things, and it should be really fun, and at the same time really crappy. I'm probably also going to maybe buy like a bronze pick and just go mine like 10 gold ore and buy 10 enchanted gems. Look at that right there. Here we go, boys. The first coins of the series. Um, so I'm going to go mine some, you know, some gold ore and shit and get myself some slayer rings for easy teleportation since I don't really have access to, you know, don't want to waste my money on law runes or anything yet. So that's kind of the plan right now. Um, Crazy Archaeologist, one of the main reasons I want to also do it is because it has a possibility of dropping 75 dragon arrows, which is an insane thing to get as a drop. Also, you know, the chance of getting an Odium shard, Malediction shard, whatever, if I end up getting one of those... Yeah, I don't know if it drops it or not, but if I do, hey, fuck it, maybe I'll just go for one of those during the series as well. Not entirely sure, it's not on my list, obviously, if, since the series is based on the Elijah and Spirit Shield. It doesn't really make too much sense for me to go for a different shield, but you know what? Fuck it. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, I don't know. Um, just letting you guys know what's up, that's the basic agenda for this series. Maybe things will change, but I will see you guys when I have 30k. Alright guys, so we got 31k in the event. So that actually took uh, a little while to get. Not too bad, though. I mean, it was funny seeing some people, some people calling me out. Um, and I was kind of laughing about it, too. Um, we actually got 90 points as well. So we're going to be able to start saving up for this void. Again, got to get that, that backup void set in the bank because, you know, we still have this other set that's sitting in here. Can't do anything with that yet. And you know what I realized that uh, I have to do now? 
I have to walk my ass to Varrock to buy some runes. So, I'm gonna go do that. It'll be fun. I might pick up a knife and buy some of the runes in the wilderness because I think the prices are cheaper there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, gonna have to check some of this stuff out. But, you know, for now, we'll just go to Varrock. We'll buy probably two Chaos rune packs, and then we'll take that over to a special location. I'm also gonna have to do some other stuff along the way, so let's get started. All right, I just came back. I went and made myself a sandwich. Um, I just came back, and apparently I have this random. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do this random. I know people don't typically do randoms uh, for obvious reasons, that it doesn't present any realistic reward. However, for me, it could give me a gem, which could be helpful. In this case, it gave me 80 coins, which isn't that helpful, but you know what? 80 coins, fine. That's, uh, that's free 80 coins. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run over to, um, uh, what's it called? Falador. I'm going to grab myself a pickaxe, and yeah, and then I'm going to mine some gold ore somewhere. I really don't know where. Maybe al -Karid. This is going to be really roundabout. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to go to Falador, I'm going to do this, and yeah, we'll figure something out. I don't know. I'm going to need some gold ore so that I can make myself some Slayer Rings. Um, maybe I'll have to run to Edgeville to get, you know, to purchase the gems or whatever, and go back to al -Karid. So I'm probably going to get the gems first. We'll hit Edgeville along the way back to Varrock. Head back to Lumbridge. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You guys will see. You guys will see. Okay, guys. We are finally here at this pickaxe shop. Um, looking at some of these prices, I think I'm going to go with a mithril pickaxe. Because that's decent. It'll it'll do me good for now. Um, I'm going to quickly... No, no, no. I, I'm going to stick to the plan. I'm going to stick to the plan. We're going to go to Edgeville now, and we are going to pick up some monk robes while we're there. As well as some slayer gems. Okay, guys. I swung by Edgeville, picked up my monk robes. And now I'm going to go to Vanica and buy some Slayer Gems, which are here. So I'm going to actually buy 20 of these. This should last me more than long enough. Um, I'm actually going to go over to Varrock right now and buy some runes and whatnot, and then I'm going to head down to al -Karid and mine some gold ore. I finally arrived, so I'm going to pick up a staff. Uh, I think I'm going to go with an air staff for now. And then I'm going to head over to the rune shop, buy some runes, and then we can head on out to whatever the hell that one guy is called. Of course there's no air staff in this world. What the fuck? Okay, one second. So you know what actually just occurred to me? I need food to do this. So I'm going to have to go fish a couple hundred monkfish. Um, but with the way my plans are working right now, let's see. Value, how much is this worth? Okay, so we can buy two of these. Rip cash. Um, and how many runes is it per firebolt? Four, so that means that this is 200, right? So that means you need 800. Alright, so, yeah, I need to go get some food. And it actually looks like I have a little bit of money left, which is actually good, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna go do that, I'm gonna go, um, get my dueling rings first, and then we'll go head out and fish some monkfish. And apparently my home telly is still on cooldown. Fuck. This idea was a lot better in my head than it was in actuality. A myth pick takes quite a while to mine a gold ore. And there's only two, unless I'm missing some. But I guess I'll just hop around until I get 20. I'll see you in 20 hours. Okay, so I finally mined my 20 gold ore, so I'm going to actually smith these bad boys real quick. Some of you guys might be wondering, why the hell do I have a bronze scimitar? Um, basically... I realized as well that when I'm teleporting away from Crazy Archaeologist or just about anywhere, I'm going to need a few runes to tell you back to Varrock so I can at least walk back in that general direction. Um, and I'm pretty sure Mage Bank sells law runes. I'm probably wrong, but I'm going to have to go head out there and buy some, and I don't know where to buy a knife. <clears throat> I actually just realized something, guys. My house is actually in Relica, and within my house I have teleports. And I think with these Slayer Rings, you can teleport to the Relica Slayer Cave, which is not too long of a walk from the house portal. So I could teleport to the Relica Slayer Cave, and then from there go to my house portal, and I could actually use the glory there to get back to Edgeville. So that's actually, if you ask me, that's a pretty damn good idea. So I think I'm going to do that instead of wasting my money on Lawrence and things like that, and then having to take the long walk of shame. But for now, I'm going to have to go, unfortunately, fish myself some food. I don't have cooking gauntlets yet either, and you guys know I'm only 76 fishing and cooking. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna, actually, I can just do this right from here. So let's just go get some monkfish. That means this bronze simi's a waste. I'm gonna keep it in the bank in case I ever actually have to go and, you know, cut those webs. But yeah, so let's go, you know, let's put this in the bank first. Then we'll go get some fish. So I come up here to buy a net. 
Only to find... Zach and I bought a knife here. Rip. Well, whatever. Let's get fishing, boys. Okay, this is all the fish I really want to get for right now. I'm going to go find a place to cook these. I'm not sure where to go. I guess I should go to just... I guess I could just go to Camelot and cook them in Catherby or whatever on the range since I don't have an axe yet. So actually, yeah, I think I'm going to go do that. And I think you're less likely to burn stuff on a range since I don't have my cooking gauntlets yet. So let me see if this tactic actually works. So I'm going to try teleporting to... Relic of Slayer Caves. How far is this from my house? I I plan on using this a lot if it's not too far. And this cave makes no sense. You exit from this side and you en like enter from... Oh, it makes no sense. Um, okay, yeah, this shouldn't be too far of a walk. So I think this is actually a pretty decent strategy until I get, you know, a glory or... Actually, not a glory. Until I get the money to start buying some law runes and, and yeah. So I guess I'm going to go cook these and see you guys in one second. Okay, yeah, so I'm trying this and... Uh, <clears throat> Not doing a lot of damage here. I mean, getting the occasional good hit and whatnot. And I also realized I don't have gloves yet. I'm wearing no gloves whatsoever. And it would probably help for me to at least get, you know, Addy gloves or something. So I might go and do that. Uh, the reason I'm also doing this on a PvP world is because, you know, it's it's much less likely for a PKer to come here than it is for, you know, anything else. Um, on this world at least. So, I can recharge my prayer a couple levels north, I think. At least that's the theory. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I'm getting some decent hits now. Uh, barely dodged that. Um, thinking I won't have to use too much food. I just got it just in case. Um, and with the monk robes, I have a decently high prayer bonus, so I don't think I'll be taking, you know, too many risks. Obviously, I'm not skulled. I don't risk anything. And even skulled, I risk the same amount. Unless, you know, I lose my Ellie, of course. But I don't really lose anything on Skull because I have, like, no items with me. Uh, obviously lose the runes. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but I guess I will show you guys every kill I get. Looks like we are about to secure this kill right here. This is still the first kill. Looks like I'm using over 50 casts right now. What did we get? Two to half of key? That is actually... That's actually amazing to get as a first drop. That's actually amazing to get as a first drop. That means if I get a loop, that's a glory right there. That's a glory in the bag. If I get a loop, that's actually a really, really good first drop. So I'm going to try and run up here, and hopefully I should be able to recharge my prey up here. Um, kind of a long walk. But yeah, I'm thinking I might hit up Gem Rocks and grab myself a diamond so I can get a Power Amy for now. Because a Power Amy obviously is better than nothing at all. Um, where the fuck is this? This should be over here somewhere. I think I'm too far to this side. Yeah, I should grab a Power Amy because a Power Amy would definitely give me some accuracy. And then maybe take some of those gems or like some of the things I make, sell them to a store and then get a little bit of cash and try and buy rune gloves. I feel like that would actually be a really good idea. So I'm going to use all the runes I have right now and then go and do that. And I should be able to um, use the money I make from that to, you know, get some more cash and buy some more runes. Um, also, I want to get 25k so I can get my steel gauntlets back from the whatever. It's quite like fucking Family Crest quest. So my chaos like my bolt spells do more damage so i'm gonna go do all that i'll finish all these kills i'll still show you guys what i get so we'll be back in one second kill number two looks like it's about to happen here assuming i don't keep splashing come on finish it off please is that it right there amy of power well <laughs> fuck the gem rocks i guess that solves that problem I might actually end up going there anyway but Damn. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Alright, next kill, what did we get? Oh! That is... This is so good. Onyx bolt tips. <sighs> I need to get my hands on some runite bolts. Because that is actually... I'm actually gonna bank, because that's actually fucking amazing. Um, onyx bolt tips are an amazing drop. I don't have any rune bolts though, so these are actually kind of useless right now. I'm going to see if they're worth anything on their own, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to call it here. Apparently I can't do much of these onyx bolt tips. I'm thinking I'm either going to wait till I get some runite bolts, or I might try and find something that drops a very small amount of runite bolts so I can go make these, because otherwise that's you know that's a pretty good alk right there, or I could sell them, and it's only 12, I could actually sell them to the Karamja store um, after I grab my Karamja gloves. Um, but for now, I'm going to have to say, I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. I will see you guys in the next one. I actually have no idea how long this is. Um, I'm 
actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some mind runes and uh, head over because I realized I said I was going to buy the the chaos gauntlets and then rune gloves which makes absolutely no sense because they're both gloves um, so I'm probably going to buy some rune gauntlets and some mind runes because mind runes are really cheap um, first things first I'm going to head over to the gem rocks and that's probably how we're going to start the next episode so I, I will see you guys then if you guys like this episode please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribe to my channel leave a comment um, these episodes are actually going to be released uh, in a staggered fashion, so you guys might actually not... I'm going to have to go to Drain or be the best way to get there. Um, you guys might actually not see them in the order that they're actually released. Like, I've been working on this, you know, maybe not be released for a few days, etc., etc., etc. Hope you guys understand. I'm trying to keep a very consistent upload, you know, thing to my YouTube channel. But I'm rambling. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!